Hi there, my name is Cuppy Cates and welcome back to Zoo Quest! So I am here at the finished watchtower, which I actually did behind the scenes, but don't worry because I have a replay prepared for you right now. I hope you enjoyed it <laughs> and the many times that I reorganized the furniture because I do that in real life <laughs> I couldn't really decide how I wanted it to be so I kept fiddling with it and I think I got it where I wanted I ended up ousting the big chest because the the, the texture is broken so it makes it look like there's a side missing on the chest so we're just gonna take that back and put it back into the deco craft crafting table but yes, everything is looking amazing! And we get to look out onto this beautiful, like, oasis, uh, small lake slash big pond area. There is so much beautiful flora here that I cannot wait to use in our multiple exhibits as we start doing this in the desert, which I think in the last episode I was super hesitant about because I don't do a lot of desert builds, but... It'll be a really good challenge to see if I can make builds even though I'm not... I'm sorry! Even though I'm not experienced in building in the desert. Hubby actually asked me to do a desert build with him one time when we were just playing regular, ordinary, not modded Minecraft. And I was having fun with it. We didn't get very far because there was a lot to do, but yeah. It was, it was fun. I didn't know that we could break these. Oh my gosh, this changes so much. Look at the chickpeas. We have chickpeas now. It used to be that the only thing you could get from this was these cactus fruit, but now we can get agave. Amazing. Okay, cool. I'm going to let these spread. So I have a couple of things on my list of things to do for the zoo which is over there. One of those is to explore the two temples today and we are going to make space for our boat. So as I was sailing through here to try and get back to the ocean to get home, I noticed that we were completely blocked off from the ocean by one little part that we're gonna fix right now. We are here. So this little spot right here is not open for us to travel through, but if we just take a little bit out, I would like to spruce it up and make it look really pretty. But for right now, I think we'll just make enough space for us to get through. Oh, those break break. Uh, for us to get home is what I should say. Okay. Oh, it's about to turn night. We better hurry. I have no idea why my voice is cracking today. My cough kind of came back a little bit, which made me panic. <laughs> but I think I think it's just allergies. Emerald dust. Yes, please. Oh, our inventory. Oh no. This is not good. Okay, wait. I can fix some of it. If we just put that there. But I want to pick up this too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And now we're going to have to sleep. We'll sleep first and then I'll figure out how to fix this inventory situation. Okay, so we might have to just come back for that little coal piece. Oh, boat. It, ow. Ow. Cactus hurts. Cactus hurts. Everything's fine. Oh, I know how we can fix this. 
I need this kind of anyway. We're gonna waste our milk a bit, but I have got to do this for our boat to get through. Eh. And this is, I could already tell it's not gonna be enough space. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, okay, I think I got it as I get stabbed by cactus. I think that's definitely enough space to get through and we'll just, we'll make it look prettier as we go along because I actually want to turn that into a dinosaur bone museum. It already looks really good. It's kind of bland in the way that it's just sandstone, but that's because I think that uh, the fossil and archaeology mod just wanted to make it with the basic uh, stuff they already had, just in case that was the only mod you added. But yes, I think it's really stunning. We just need to add some like terracotta to it would be really pretty. Um, maybe some wool blocks. And then I want to come back and grab as many of the bookshelves as possible so we can make our enchanting section in our sacred oak tree. And there we go. We are just about out. That wasn't too hard. Nah. We are back in our boo. I did some organizing to clean out our inventory of all of the extra from the watchtower and from the desert in general. And I'm in the kitchen because I almost forgot we had captured another box turtle. So I want to make some kibble and the taming kibble required for our new box turtle to see what variant it is because I'm not entirely sure what gender it is. And then if it's not the Gulf Coast variant, I'm going to need name suggestions. But if it is the Gulf Coast variant, I already have a name picked up. And it's Otis because one of my viewers has an adorable box turtle named Otis. And I want to make sure that, that the Gulf Coast turtle is named Otis for, for that viewer because I love you. <laughs> um, but today we are going to have to do some mining because in order to get the rattlesnake that I want to put in the desert, we need the tranquilizer gun. Otherwise, we can't capture it in a net and it'll just kick our booty with its fangs. So, in order to make that, I really just need one iron. Wow. I thought I needed more. <laughs> I thought I needed way more than that. But unfortunately, I don't even have one iron. I am completely out of iron, you guys. We are overdue for a little bit of mining, which is cool because I can take you down into the mine that I prettied up a little bit. But we also need to make tranquilizer darts. Luckily, we're good on feathers, we're excellent on sticks, but I need to make fermented spider eyes. I don't even know if I have that many spider eyes, but I think we found a spider dungeon in the past. I don't remember where it is, so it may be me traveling down there to see if I can find the spider dungeon and see if I can't get some more spider eyes so we can make these trank darts to capture the rattlesnake. And then hopefully, my spawns are a little weird, but hopefully I'll be able to find a camel. If not, we can uh, we can get a camel in other other ways, role playing ways. <laughs> okay, so mining today, but first I'm gonna go ahead and make the kibble for our box turtle. So as I am going over to get wheat, I am realizing how horribly we need a bridge. <laughs> Because I keep having to hop into the water right here to swim across to go to our wheat farm over here on this side. Because that's not a bridge. That's where our coelocanth is and our uh, tank. The paddlefish? The American paddlefish? Yeah. So, bridge is going to be one of the things on our list for the boo. Don't eat the wheat. I need the wheat. Good thing I have plenty. I've been saving up. <laughs> I have been saving quite a bit, actually. Because... We have so much wicker we need to make, you guys. 30, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, we actually get to pick the apples off of our tree. I think this is so satisfying. I actually feel like I'm picking apples. Although, for all of you apple uh, growers out there, if there are any of you, do you wait for them to fall or do you pick them when they're ripe? I'm, I've lived in the city my whole life and I've always admired those who had a farm and because I wasn't one of them. I love the idea of having a farm but I wouldn't know the first thing I was doing. So yes, if any of you have any experience with farming and particularly orchards, what do you do? Do you wait for them? Do you wait for them to ripen and you pick them off the tree or you wait for them to fall? I'm curious. 
So unfortunately, my cool uh, cooking for blockheads crafting table will not make kibble because it's not a food for us. So I have to bring it back to the cellar where the crafting table is. So we're gonna make as much of this as we can because we're gonna need it for every single taming kibble. But I don't wanna use it all for this. So I need, oh, I knew I was missing something. I need more apples and I need pumpkin seeds. Okay, I can do this. Was that it? Oh no. I used all the apples to make kibble and I didn't save anything for the tortoise kibble. No! Oh no. Well, we have to have bone meal somewhere, right? Maybe I could bone meal the tree? Oh, I made a terrible error. Was that all of my, I have, I have one apple right now. Oh no! I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. Uh oh. Okay, this is totally fixable. Where's my bone meal? All right, I found my bone meal. I just need to find a blossom or maybe a green one that I could bone meal into being a red. I don't know how it works. I don't know if it works that way. Anything? I thought I saw a green one over here. Where did it go? Oh no! Did we lose that one? Did I accidentally break it? Oh no! I'm only gonna be able to make one tortoise kibble. That may not be enough. Uh oh. I have made a terrible error. This is very bad. <laughs> Well, we'll see if one tortoise kibble does it. And then I need to make myself some food because I'm hungry and these little raisin cookies are very filling. Way more filling than I thought actually. Okay, let's make this one. <laughs> I can't believe it. I have 23 kibbles, but I was only able to make one tortoise kibble. No! Maybe it'll be okay. Maybe it'll be fine. Hello, Savannah. Please don't drown. Please. Where's where's your boyfriend? Where's Timothy? I like how I never... Hi, Timothy. You don't really move much. Are you okay? Is something wrong? Do you need some love? You're okay, bud. You don't need to hide. Are you shy? Is Savannah making you shy, my dear? You're okay. Yeah, that's a good Timothy. You don't have to hide in your shell. Savannah, you are making me so nervous. Like, for real. So nervous. I feel like I should move her, you guys. We're gonna move her. I don't wanna lose Timothy's girlfriend. Oh, and I just realized that I need the animal data book, so I have to go grab that first. Okay, be right back. Well, I'm here. And we're gonna see. Oh! <laughs> that always makes me laugh when they hop out like that. Hello! Hello, cutie! We're gonna see if one is enough. Uh, no! <laughs> no, it even turned around. It was so offended. <laughs> It was like, how dare you only have one? Hopefully it will still tell us info. Okay, so this is a female. This is the common variant with a lax trait. Interesting. So I figured this was the common variant. And I actually did get another name suggestion for a, another turtle a long time ago, Lemon. And I think Lemon might be a cute name. Let me know if you guys like the name Lemon down in the comments or if you have any other suggestions and we'll see, we'll see what we end up naming this other little female. Timothy, you have a harem. What are you gonna do with that? Cool, I think that's awesome. Okay, don't go anywhere, don't drown. I will make you more kibble <laughs> when I have more apples. We may need to grow more apple trees. Like for real, you guys. What's dying? Okay, as long as it's not Timothy. <laughs> we have three turtles! And one of my viewers, you know who you are, 
suggested uh, that we do a box turtle pond area in the desert region because um, especially with the desert variant of box turtles, we can make a cute little rest area where we look at the box turtles and people can enjoy some relaxing, like hearing the water run, looking at the turtles pop up and pop back down. We'll probably leave the lily pads out because for some reason they like to swim under the lily pads and drown themselves. And we don't want that. So we may not have very many lily pads or if we do, we'll have the plant mega pack lily pads that don't actually suffocate. Okay, well I guess since we're out of apples, I'm just gonna put all of this stuff away to save for later because we need to go mining and I need to find out where possibly the spider dungeon was. What? 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 What happened? What happened? What happened? Something died? <gasps> what? What died? Please tell me I wasn't holding the new turtle. It died. It didn't seem like it. Where's our new turtle? Are you serious? Did we just get that turtle and it just... Because I can see Savannah right now. Hi. Where's our new turtle? Is that it? Did it... Did... What... Was it just hiding on my back and then I just hit it? What? Uh... No. We didn't even get to name it yet. I don't know what happened, you guys. I think it like snuck out of here on my back and then I bumped it into a wall and it just it didn't make it. Is that our first zoo death? We just got our first zoo death. No! I'm gonna have to make up. I'm gonna have to make a up. Oh, sad face. What is it called? A tombstone. Tombstone. Don't even know how to make them. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I'm gonna make a tombstone. We're gonna pay our respects to our unnamed turtle. And then we're gonna go mining. Ugh. Well, I'm here near the nether portal. And this is actually where I had intended to put the graveyard. I had forgotten about that because it kind of made sense. I couldn't decide if I wanted to maybe make it where you had to pass through the nether portal to get to that area but well I thought about putting it here but I want to put our portal to the to the twilight forest here so I'm trying to think about the best course of action for putting this uh <laughs> this sudden <laughs> gravestone down hmm Maybe I could make it where you had to walk through here and then we could have we could start a grave a graveyard behind the nether portal. I think I'll do that. So I'm going to make some adjustments behind the nether portal and then we can start building our our graveyard behind it. We're behind the portal now and I've made a really small room since we are kind of short for time. And we're going to go ahead and put some of the stuff in here. I picked out some pretty flowers that I thought would be really cute. Oh, I know that box turtles like lettuce and I think they like uh, strawberries as well. So I put those in there. Um, let's see. I think these foxtails would be really cute. And then we'll write a nice little note to go in it. All right, I'm gonna work on that for a second. Here lies 
the box turtle with no name. Though we had you for such a short time, we were looking forward to you being a part of the zoo and with Timothy and Savannah for a long time. You will be missed, turtle with no name. Thank you uh, for the fun <laughs> moments. Uh-oh, here we go. I think I meant to say for the few fun moment times <laughs> together rest in peace little one cuppy kate and company turtle er fox turtle i can spell i swear with no oh d d never mind <laughs> Hmm. Unnamed? Is unnamed with two M's? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Box turtle. Uh, no! <laughs> Box turtle. There we go. <laughs> Sign and close. Alright. There's our sweet little note. I feel like I should have put one more thing in there, but I just don't have anything else. Uh, let me go grab another little, a little something. So I know this seems silly, but I'm going to put string in here. And the reason for that is because it is the string that holds us together. So that even though those that are lost to us are never truly gone because we are tied with the memories of them. All right. So now I just have to figure out how to make a tombstone so I didn't add a tombstone mod that I could customize the tombstone so I'm gonna have to kind of form one so I'll play with this for a second and I'll bring you back when I like the way it looks you guys it's a spider it might drop a spider eye or nothing yay that's exactly what I wanted I wanted it to drop nothing so annoying Okay, so I went back for a little bit. I got a lantern, a flower pot, and a flower to put in the flower pot for our turtle. Our unnamed turtle. There we go. That's super pretty. We'll just hang that right there. And then I'll go ahead and write in here. R.I.P. Or, hmm. Oh. Here lies the. Oh, no. Unnamed. I'm going to make sure I'm spelling that right. Hold on. I am spelling it right. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Here lies the unnamed. We'll put box turtle. Oh, so sad. Box turtle. Okay. Here lies the unnamed box turtle. So we did it. I'm sorry. I can't believe that I had you on my back and didn't know. Oh, oh goodness. Well, luckily it seems like the box turtles spawn pretty often. So I think we'll be okay. We'll be able to find another one, but I am sad that we lost that one. So really quick, because I'm almost out of time, I am going to run down, get a piece of iron, and we're gonna very, very, very quickly make the tranquilizer gun. So I think my mind may have gotten overgrown with vines. It's just, it's just a thought that that may have happened. I love the Swedish ivy. Oh, it's so pretty. Here it is. The tranquilizer gun, which is going to be the only way that we can actually capture any of the Zawa animals if we want to put them in exhibits. But we have a serious problem. I don't have any brown mushrooms. I actually have nine spider eyes, which is great. 
So we'll have plenty of spider eyes to make us quite a few because one makes six. So with nine, that's 54, excuse my math. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have plenty to start us out, but we don't have any mushrooms. So I need at least nine brown mushrooms. So we're gonna have to do an expedition to a marsh biome of some kind and try and collect as many brown mushrooms as possible and maybe figure out how we can farm them because we're gonna need these trink darts to use the gun. All right, well, that is all the time that I have for this episode, you guys. I'm sorry it went off on a tangent to do the graveyard, but I felt like we needed to pay respects to our turtle that we lost, even though we only had it for like a minute. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad about it, but that will happen. That will not be the only animal we lose, but hopefully, cross our fingers, I'm good at building exhibits and we can keep them from suffocating or starving or any of those horrible things that may take the animals away. <laughs> All right, well, if you like this video, make sure you give the like button a tickle and a poke. Subscribe to join our family if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. Ring the bell to get notifications of when I post more ZooQuest episodes. And please join our Discord. I'm gonna talk about it all week. Please join. We're having a lot of fun chatting with each other. And the more of you that join, the more chats can happen. And I hop in there pretty often. Hubby comes in from time to time and I even enjoy streaming uh, Wolf Quest on there. And Hubby will stream League of Legends if that's something you're interested in. All right, well, I love you. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.